Hey everybody, how's it going today? I'm down here on the ranch, down at the farm, in the back 40. Um, just looking over during the week, my dad had a local logger come out here and cut down some of the dead trees that we have standing back here. I guess he must have been watching a few of my YouTube videos and decided to get somebody with a little more experience to bring these down. <laughs> Actually, some of these I don't think I would have wanted to try to tackle anyway because they uh, they were some pretty decent sized one and they needed to come down some pretty tight spaces and actually one of them got hung up we're gonna go check that out in a second but so far this is we got a nice big birch here got some red oaks back there and a couple more up there so we got all this wood taken down this week and now we can start the fun process of getting it bucked up and split and ready for probably not next year, probably the year after. We've got a pretty good supply, pretty good stockpile ahead. So this is probably looking at like a two year, a two year stock here for two years from now. So I'm gonna go find where this tree is hung up and see if we can get it down. So here we are, we had two of them side by side. One came down good, but the other guy, he's hung up. We stopped to look at the pile up there that was already drug out. And I said, you must have been watching my YouTube videos. I figured you better get somebody out here who can cut these down. <laughs> But this is my dad. I don't know if you've seen him before. On, he's the senior woodhound down here. Well, unfortunately, these trees are killed by oak wilt. We don't want to take them down, but they're going to just keep deteriorating. So we're going to take them down and make firewood out of them. So there's yep. three of them in a the little area here. So they're nice trees. They could have. They would have made nice logs. Yeah, this one is. That one's actually a little bigger even. So, we're gonna see so yeah, so what do we got going on? We're, we're not sure if we're going to be able to pull them out and clear stump. this stump right here. So, we shall see what happens. Not gonna happen. All right. All right. So we're gonna have to take a little bit off here to get past the stump.
guy down. Oh, he's way up there. So we just cut him off right there, make it a little easier to pull this one out, and then we'll trim up the rest of the top and pull him up back up to that landing where I was just at where all the other ones were. Good sized tree. Just dead. I think he just died last year because it's not his bark is still good. Not a lot of rot on him, so he's dead, but prime firewood gold. And of course, as luck would have it, while we were dragging that tree out, I ran out of memory <laughs> and the camera shut off. So there it is. Pretty good size tree. A good little addition to the stockpile here. So like I said, this is, a, this is kind of our little landing. We drag the trees up here. And then this is where we'll we'll buck them all up and we might even split them right back here and then just haul them home haul them home and stack them stack them rack them pack them or stack them pack them rack them so now we got one more to uh, pull out it's a it's a bigger one it's actually I I think I showed it on one of the videos um, it's a big white oak that was dead uh, so I'll See if I can find that and I'll put the link to it. I think I was out here with my little nephew Bo and we were looking at the, the dead elm down in the pasture and then I came over and eyed up that one, uh, the one dead white oak, that pretty good sized one. So we're gonna go check him out and then hopefully pull him out. Hopefully, I think he's a pretty big one. We'll see. I think my dad went home to get the big tractor, the big John Deere 4010 for this guy. Gonna need a little more horsepower. <laughs> All right, so let's head over there. Here we are at the other site. <laughs> so down in there, that's where he's laying. I'll take you down there in a second. We were gonna back down in here with the tractor until we discovered this washout. So good thing we didn't because that would have been a little tough to uh, to get out of. So. We're gonna just back up to the edge of the field here and see if we can drag this guy out. So the, whoa, jeez. All right, I'll walk you down in here. Welcome to the jungle. We've got fun and games. What it involves today is dragging a lot of chains all the way down from up there we have to drag some chains down and look at the he's a big one check this stump out now that for sure is no buck and billy ray stump i don't know what the heck Looks like it just cut all the way around the, the outside. All right, let me get these chains drugged down here. All 
So not too far from that white oak, I just came down here into the woods a little bit and found this shag bark hickory blown down or knocked down by a great big cherry tree. So here, two more potential storm damage salvage projects. Yeah, this cherry tree. He's a good, good size. A lot of wood here, and he took down that big hickory. Whew, man. The problem is to get to him. Woo! Out doing a little wood hounding. Hounded up some more wood. So this is the white oak that we're taking out. You can see he landed right down there in that, that ditch. And that's the one that, as it goes down the hill, it just keeps getting wider and wider. And down there, that's that right there is that hickory I was just at. So yeah, I'm gonna have to try to find a way to get down there though. It's two big, nice trees. Too nice to let lay in the woods and just rot away. This guy, he just came down and shattered apart. Just exploded. Branches snapped off everywhere. Oh, I hear the tractor coming. <laughs> Let's see what happens. <laughs> I'm a little nervous with this guy. He's a big one. And he's, and he's dug right into the bank, so I don't know when we're gonna be able to pull him out of here. He was just a little too much tree. We didn't want to cut him in half because now the other half is too far down in there for the chains to reach. So we're gonna have to get the cable. I think that will do it for today's video just uh, a little look into how we kind of you know plan ahead we're getting into the fall now so that's when we like to get any trees that we know need to come down we get them down we get them out to where we can work on them so yeah it's just a way it's you know you plan ahead a little bit you get uh, you go out you scout the trees out find the dead ones Get them cut down, get them dragged out, get them ready to buck up, and you know you're you're that much further ahead. We know that it's down. We know we have it. I am sweating my butt off. Ah, oh. that's another reason why it's time to call it a day. It is freaking hot. Woo! All right. So thanks again for watching. Um, hope you enjoyed it. Just a little something different. Just another day out getting, uh, trying to get ahead. Always something interesting. Like I said, now I found those, that cherry tree and that big hickory, and I can't let those things go to waste. I'm gonna have to get those out. Once the frost comes and once this vegetation dies down, we'll be able to see a clearer path down there. I think we shouldn't have a problem. We can get down in there. Might have to piece them out, drag them out with a little blue tractor, but we'll get them. We'll get them out, and you guys will be along to see it. <laughs> All right, everyone. Enjoy the rest of your day. Enjoy your night, whatever it is when you're watching this. And uh, see you guys next time. <laughs>